here we go. Wow, ladies and gents, it's Abdallah here, starting a brand new town in Animal Crossing on Nintendo GameCube. We have the official disc, and we are legit playing the game. So on this entire live stream, part one, we're going to start off this game brand new, and we're going to see exactly what happens. We're doing an Animal Crossing Marathon, in case you guys have not seen it already. An Animal Crossing Marathon in which we're going to play through all of the main series games. So the next game that we're going to do is Wild World, and of course uh, City Folk, and then we're going to go back to New Leaf, and all in time for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, there is a huge giveaway that's going on on my Twitter right now for it, so make sure you guys check that out. We partnered up with the Twitter site, and uh, we're going to go hit this. So anyway, I'm excited to see this. I have not played this game other than yesterday. Um, to just kind of get a refresher of what the game's all about, the different features and everything. So, pretty pumped up. I hope you guys are too. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hands up in the comments if you guys have seen our yesterday's live stream, where we went through and we played in my 19-year-old town. That was crazy. They're like, yo, I haven't seen you in 200 months. Hey, I got his shirt. I got his shirt. What is this guy? So, you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world. Oh, is this what this is? Yeah, so this is, uh, okay, the beginning. That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? Wow. You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But, living by yourself can be a real drag too. Still, if you got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you'll know it'll all work out. Yeah, man. Friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Uh, yeah. Before I go. Cool, we can change your settings. I want to make sure the time is correct. First, let's set up that groovy rumble feature. So, what do you want to set it to? Uh, off. I'm using a WaveBird controller, and WaveBirds don't have um, rumble, so no. Next, we have to get you wired for sound. Okay, so what's your style? Uh, stereo's fine, thank you. Yeah, that's cool, I can dig. How do you want us animals to sound when we speak? Animalese? BBBs? I don't know what BBBs is! Animalese is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of BBBs? Yeah, sure. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here too. Yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later. So this is how you start your town, man. How many know this guy's name? First one to say it wins. What's this guy's name? Mm, yeah, it's Rover. Okay, I knew it. Uh, excuse me, do you have a second? Yeah, I do. Could you help me out? Is it, uh, let's see now, 440? Yeah, it is 444. That's actually not, but yeah, sure, March 10th. Yeah, sure, whatever. Say thanks, you're too kind. Really, you're a big help. So, you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep. Today's Mario Day, by the way. Happy Mario Day. Please. Yo, that's Joan in the back. Thanks again, it sure is nice meeting a friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? <laughs> Joan's like, huh? Did someone say psycho on the train? Say, by the way, what's your name? Yeah, what's your name? Abu Dalla. That is my name, actually. Who the heck's Kwame? What the heck was that? What was that all about? I don't even know, man. It was just on the memory card I found. <laughs> it was just on the memory card that I found at the thrift store. Uh, well, huh, now that's an odd name. Not that my opinion means much. Uh, what matters is, do you like the name Abdallah? Yeah, dude. Isn't it cool? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say it was odd? It's not odd. It's a great name for a boy, really. It's, uh, it's a really great name. What happens if I was a girl? Oh, there we go. You know, then you would say I'm not a boy. By the way, um, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Uh, we're going to the A Nation, baby. Um, we're going to the A Nation. You guys remember that, right? All right, you're going to A Nation. Yeah, dude. We're on a train. 
Hey, I know that place. A Nation was my favorite vacation spot. So what are you going to... What are you going to A Nation for? Uh, I'm moving. Hmm, moving, huh? I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack boxes, it never ends. Say, where's your new place? Leave me alone. I don't know yet. What? You don't know yet. Are you out of your tree? Well, obviously, uh, you need to find a place to live. <laughs> Rover's cute. Oh, wait, boy. In my dens, this buddy of mine runs the shop in A Nation. Let me give him a jingle. This will take me two seconds. Wait right here, okay? Where's he going? Were there cell phones back then? In the year 2001? Were cell phones a thing? Beep, beep, boop, beep. Oh, it looks like he does have a little, little flip phone. Hey there, Nook, it's me. So what's the good word? You raking in the cash? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. That's rough, brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to A Nation. Uh, yeah, completely, but the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Abdallah. Uh, yeah, today. So you think you could help out? Oh, oh, really? Uh-huh. I see. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So we'll catch up later. Right. Thanks a lot. See you, Nook, my man. Bye. I like this guy. I like Rover. He's cool. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Yeah. Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got tons of bells. Then you'll be just fine. Wow, brand new house. Nothing like it in the world. Maybe I'll move in too. Oh, looks like we're about to pull into A Nation. Man, I love this place. Anyway, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Goodbye, and good luck. What's my villager gonna look like? I pressed all the default buttons. So do I look like a stupid face? <laughs> no, I do look like the generic villager. Okay, great. Isn't that how that works in this game? Depending on like what options you choose, your eyes are gonna be like bug-eyed or beady. Or something? No, this is generic villager. Hello? I'm here! Excuse me, hey, hey, you there, yes, you. Uh, would your name happen to be Abdallah? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you, hmm? Whew, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I ramble, my name is Tom Nook. I, uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes. Something strikes me as odd, though... Uh, my young friend, moving to a town before settling on a place to live. Why, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness. Hmm? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Whatever. Whoa, ho, ho. Um, pardon me, I beg you. Uh, that just struck my funny bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. Uh, it should more than suit your needs, hmm? I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. What happens if I don't? Oh, it's auto-move. It's auto-moving. Okay, great. Okay, here we are. Not too shabby. Hmm, I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. Just stand in front of the door and press the A button to go inside. Oh, cool. Which house do you want to do in? Uh, house number one? House number two? House number three with the green roof? Or house number four? You guys let me know in the comments. One, two, three, or four. Oh, this is cool. House number one seems pretty awesome. Take a good look inside, and please bear in mind that it's a little, uh, how you say, cozy? Hmm, yes, cozy. A lot of you guys like number one. Okay, we're kind of choosing number one. Hey, look at how cozy this is. Look. Turn the lights on and off. And you got the stereo. Dang. There's no music in it. Oh, lame. Well... I guess that's gonna be our new house. Well, what do you think? How was it? Hmm, yeah, I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want? Yeah, here's good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Abdallah. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio in there at no extra charge. You can never sell that thing at the shop. <laughs> now let me see, I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house, so listen carefully, please. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. 
Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. Ooh, oh, oh. Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. You'll probably want to pop in the neighbor's house to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes, that weird thing over by the door there. That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them, hmm? It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. Oh my gosh. For that is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be such a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never happened. Oh, I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I hate to see such a thing happen, hmm? And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Do you perhaps wish to hear it again? No. Kepora Gaybora, get out of here. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll set into particulars of life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to 19,800 bells. Uh, I only have a thousand bells to my name. No, I'm gonna keep it, we're good. You better pay it all back or I'll have to give you a serious talking to. Oh, is that a threat? Is this the first time that we've been threatened by Tom Nook in the history of Animal Crossing? No, I'm not, I, don't, I'm not, I don't wanna give you that. You better pay it all back. Yo, I'm forced to pay this! No, man, here. Fine. That's my all my pocket money. Yes, that would be not nearly enough. You only have a thousand bells. You're joking with me, yes? While you're so short, I can't help but laugh. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm. A thorny situation, yes. Rather thorny. Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. That's, yes, that's acceptable. Splendid, we're all set. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre 1A. You can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station, yes? I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about coming, yes? Yo, get out of here, man. I just need a place to live. Holy moly. Well, here's the bulletin board. Okay, adding messages. You can write a message or you can quit. I'm good. Oh, what is this? Um, this is the uh, the style system. Slob alert. Hip hop hot. Cool. Happy room academy. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I don't necessarily have a map, but let's go over here to, to Tom Nook's A1. I believe A1 is this way. Apples. Yeah. Oh, apples is my native fruit, huh? Interesting. Well, that's 300 bucks. Nooking tins, Nook's Cranny, okay. It's not the gigantic store yet. Well, finally you arrived, what took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show, only kidding. Very good, yes, first off, you'll need to change into these clothes. What? I'm an indentured servant. If you know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? Oh no! Ha! <laughs> Alright. That's better. Yes, you look like you're born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe. Dang! First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull and not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience. People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept. So I want you to spruce things up a bit. When you're finished, come and tell me, yes? All right, does he have jars in his house that are like the jars in Legend of Zelda? Wait a second. <laughs> That's it, here we go. Look at how wonderful this is. It's not even on a grid. It doesn't even feel like the game's on a grid at all. 
All right, I hope you like my planting work. I don't have a shovel to dig, so uh, unless I could just straight plant that. No, I need to like dig a hole. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, let's go. This is interesting. I need a shovel, guy. Don't tell me I have to buy it. No, that's for my customers. I can't sell it to someone who works here in the shop. Raccoon policy, you see. What do you mean? Aren't you done yet? So hard to find good help. Just press the Y button to open up your item screen. Then just choose a seedling or some seeds and plant them. You don't exactly need a green pot to do it, huh? Of course. You can't plant them on top of something that's already growing. That's just common sense. Oh, one more thing. Be sure to do it outside. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Oh, that's right. So you don't have to dig it at all. Here, whatever. That's silly. It was like grayed out. Like I couldn't do it. I was expecting the, the words to be another color. But anyway. So there we go. I planted the trees just by not even digging a hole. So did you make it look a little nicer out there? It gave the ground some charming character. Yeah, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. After all, I'm not the one who'll get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. Mine, no. <laughs> uh, now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells. Quite generous, I know, I know about your wages. I'll just keep them as payment towards your mortgage, huh? Now, what should I have you do next? Wait just a moment, something just struck me. Abdallah, you just moved to A Nation, but you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm gonna give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. But I'm the mayor! <laughs> How many of you guys know who the mayor is in Animal Crossing and GameCube? And don't say me or Isabel. Um, you can probably find him wandering around that wishing well. I'll see you later, yes? Who's the mayor? Alright, let's get out of here. I gotta go say hi to my townsfolk. I need to also go shake these trees. Hey, there's one! How many of you guys know who this is? Oh, it is probably Tortimer. You're right, all you guys uh, know that. Okay, so here we go. We got our very first villager. Hello, mouse. Dora the Explorer. I don't think we met before. You're new in town, aren't you, Squeaky? I'm happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Dora, we, I hope we can be really good friends. All right, cool, that was nice to meet you. Um, I don't have the map I can press the X button for, which is kind of weird. So I'm just gonna like look around here. That's a little spot that I can dig up a little bit later. Maybe I'll get a fossil or something. Oh, I'm so excited. That's a fish. This isn't a randomly generated town. So I'm not really sure where I'm going. So let's find a house. Oh, here we go, sweet. Oh, I absolutely need every single apple. Oh man, these trees are grouped together. Dang, that's a forest right there. That's terrible. Who built that? And a, a bridge to nowhere. Oh my gosh, the layout of this town is rough. And I don't have a vaulting pole that I can go over the um, over the water, man. Yikes. Okay, well there's someone's town. Let's go see what's going on. Let and that's my town tune. Wow. Okay, well here we go. Nothing. Okay, someone's house is here. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay. Where in the war? I, I need to know what this like town layout looks like. Where is this guy's house? Blue house. Hey, apples. Hold on. That's a, That's like 300 bucks. <laughs> Yo, we almost have like a thousand bucks. All right, well, here's the wishing well. And here's Tortimer, you guys are right. There he is. Hey, well, who are you? Uh, who? You, Whippersnapper, tell me something. Do you res Who do you respect the most? My dad, my mom, my grandma, my grandpa. My dad. Hmm, youth. Hmm. I weep for the younger generation. It pains this old heart. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? Abdallah, eh, I see. Human, aren't you? My name's Tortimer, and I'm the mayor here in A Nation. Yep, a pretty important job. You seem like a good kid, listen. Whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, I surely will. 
Okay. Well, Tortimer, nice to meet you. Yo, it's the frog! Lily? Lily? Oh, no, my pockets are full. Ah, uh, we're gonna drop it. I got- can I stack these? No, you can't stack. Oh, gosh. I gotta make a trip. Hey, what's up? Tad! I'm sorry, it's Tad. Yes, Colleen, you knew that, huh? Good evening, say. We never met before, have we? Well, then let me introduce myself. I'm Tad. If you forget who I am, just remember that I'm the one who says slurp a lot. It's a bad habit. Okay, good job. Well, nice to meet you, guy. I gotta go find my other villagers. Oh, the Able Sister shop. That's kind of cool. Don't really have any business there. Okay, well. Oh, and here's the museum. Cool. There's more apples. I'll come back to these. I gotta go sell the other ones. I don't know if I can sell them, to be honest. I don't. I don't know if I can sell them to Tom Nook yet. And then there's another spot. Whose house is this? Oh my gosh, everyone. The Penguin Cube! He's got the GameCube shirt! What? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool villager right there. His name is Cube. GameCube. Can we be friends? Oh, dude, he's got the GameCube logo shirt. Oh, he better have, like, Nintendo stuff in his house. Pecan. Pecan, pecan, pecan. No one knows how to pronounce pecan. <laughs> pecan. Yo, give me a Nintendo-themed house. It better be. Uh, not a Nintendo-themed house. Great, just stupid gyroids. Excellent. Alright, so we got one cool villager. No chief, but... We got a, a pecan. There's more apples. I need to go to the shop. Oh, look at this nasty dead end right over here. Yuck. And there's no, like, walkway that I can easily go across. So I have to... Oh, man, I'm not liking this layout. Hey, it's another fox. Lobo? I don't think he's too flagship. I know Cube is, like, borderline flagship. But we don't have any flagship dudes. Like, Bob's not here. Alfonso's not here. I need some, I need some flagship folks, dude. I don't know, man. Like, how do I get my map? Where's my house even? There's the post office. Here's the town melody. Okay, so if this is here, let me look at the bulletin board. Okay, um, yeah, well, all right. Let's go see if I can um, sell these items, these fruits for money at, over at Nook's. <laughs> and continue on, like I gotta pay out this debt. Huh, you say you met everyone in town. Well, aren't you social? Perhaps, though, you were not quite thorough. Oh, my gosh. Dang. Hey, Aaron, coming on board as a member. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Aaron. Welcome back. Okay, we're just going to drop these over here because I got to make that mad cash. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the things despawn or what in this air in this game. But anyway, those are all the apples that I've collected. I will pick up more of them. I have to find one more villager and that's not fun because now it's like hide and seek and I got to look at every single acre. But I guess while I'm here, I can go shake some trees and get some more apples. I guess that's fun, right? Dang, where in the world did I possibly miss someone? Tom Nook, man, why you gotta be a jerk? Okay, so where, hold on, that's the town Melody. Maybe by the police station, if I find it, I can see a map. And there was a blue house over by the river in like Acre, maybe like C1, D1, whose house is that? Did I go, is this Cube's house? No, that's Lobo's house. Okay, so we've seen Lobo. These are the unused houses. Oh my gosh, these trees are terrible. I gotta start... Hey, who are you? Oh no, we met Dora. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's a lot of fruit trees. That's right. Make them all fall. You can sell any fruit you find at Tom's Nooks. That's right. 
How in the world am I going to get foreign fruit on this save file? <laughs> make another, um, <laughs> make another town and then visit it? Oh my gosh, what a concept. Foreign fruit sells for like five times as much. That's the thing. So like all these apples that I'm getting, it's chump change for making money in uh, Animal Crossing. Like you don't get any money for it. I can pick up seashells though. That's kind of a good way of making money. So I'll pick these up in hopes that some of them uh, wash up the shore again. But uh, I'm honestly on the lookout for this extra house. So I got to really sift through these acres and find this other dude's house. No way, man. Okay, so whose blue house is that? I got to find a way around this stupid river. I'm going to chase the river and find that house. That's going to be the house that I'm going to find. Okay, here anyway. It's clearly a dock. Great. Oh my gosh, a dead end. Oh man, with a clip? There's no ladders in this game, man. And I need a shovel. I'm passing by so many cool things on the ground. Wow, this is crazy. All right, all right. There has to be a way of going across this river over here. I just gotta know where the bridges are at. Because there's someone's house over there and I need to cross. Hey, there we go. So now I'm gonna follow this river. And I should come across that blue house. And that's probably the last person. Hey, a duck! It's Piper. Oh, hey, Piper. You wanna know my, okay, yep, yep, that's right, chickadee. Oodles of free time, thought you might drive by and talk. Okay, so now we got one more villager. I honestly don't know how many villagers um, we have. In general, like, I don't know how many are, we're supposed to get. And I think my inventory is pretty much full. So I'm going to go back to Nooks after taking one more lap. Okay, so there's that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if there's five in a new town. We'll, we'll find out. All right, you know what? Let's go back. My, my pockets are full. Oh, who's this? No, I, we've seen you before. Okay, so can you guys name the villagers in my town? I don't know if I can. <laughs> Even though I just met them. Can anyone name all the villagers in the comments? Go. First person name all of them gets a shout out on stream. Let's go. Who's been paying attention? Dora, Tad, Lobo, Piper, Cube, and Pecan. That could be it. Uh, Lucaru. Alright, yeah, that's it. But never fear, I have a good feeling about you, huh? Now then, what shall I have you do next? Good job. What have we here? It looks like my employee of the month has full pockets. Go empty them somewhere and return post-haste. Guy? Go empty them somewhere? Yeah, I'm just gonna put them like on the ground in front of here, man. Okay, that's all the stuff I'm selling you in a minute. We're gonna make lots of money, check this out. Ah, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture. At last, I'd like. it's like you're actually working. Take this furniture to Dora in acre B1. I know where B1 is, it's right next to us. And don't stop to sniff the roses. All right, so now we're doing fetch quests so that we become free. So Dora the Explorer, this is Dora's house, right? Dora's house, B1, here we go. Uh-huh, what's up, Squeaky? I got a delivery for you, here we go, it's from Tom Nook. Okay, I have to work off my mortgage, absolutely, keep plugging. You can have my daffodil, Oh, that's cute. Now I have an actual piece of furniture. The very first piece of furniture that I get in the game is a daffodil from Dora. I wonder if everyone gets a little, like, flower or something as, like, a delivery prize. That would be pretty interesting. All right, so I did the work. Nook, I'm coming for you. How much can I get for this daffodil? <laughs> hey, you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job. So I figured that earns you 230 bells. 
Now on to your next task. Huh, what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map. Yeah, honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, here's the map. Press the X button and you should find it. Hey, that's great. Your job is to write uh, some copy for a direct mailing. You know, sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Tad, who lives uh, in an acre somewhere in row F. That's very good business. Tad is a very loyal customer, so this is a lotus of, notice of a special sale. As for what you write, I'll just leave it up to you. All right, here we go. We're going to do viewer interaction on this one. Any of you guys want to write this letter to Tad? And I'll write it. I'll write it verbatim if you guys come up with something funny. You can use a stationery to write the letter. Great. Go to the post office to mail the letter. You'll find the post office in Acre A4. So hurry back then. All right, here we go. Suggestions in the comments. We're writing a letter to Tad. What should it say? Uh, A4, post office is right straight this way. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to write a letter to Tad. So this is going gonna, gonna to be fun. So who's going to come up with the funniest message and or something that I should say? And I'll, I'll absolutely write it with my super fast typing skills. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're going to write a letter. Choose an address seat to Tad. Tad, dear Tad. <laughs> uh, dear Tad, comma. Uh, give me some give me some fun ones. Okay, here we go. I like this one. <laughs> okay. Dear Tad. But that's too much to write. This one's, uh, this one's from Protagonist in the comments. This one says, please, here, take this out, please, bail <laughs> me out. That's it. Please bail me out. <laughs> okay, from Tad, and no, I'm not going to attach anything. Absolutely not. I need my money. Okay, here we go. Mailing a letter to Tad. That was a good one. Good job. You had some really fun stuff, though. We'll do another one soon. Don't worry. No, we're done. Sorry. So, we just mailed a letter asking for a bailout from Tad because we need money. So, let's go back to Nook's and say, hey, Nook. Hey, Nook, I did the deed. Now, give me that money. Give me the ability to sell stuff to you. My pockets are overflowing. Did you send the letter? Uh, good job. It took you longer than I'd like, but, uh, so I'll have to dock you a bit? Excuse me. I did that in, like, ten seconds. <sighs> oh, yes, well, I, uh, I haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you not to hang around here, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you could do a little bit better working for them than you can, uh, for me. M but not much better. Just be sure to come back after a bit. Okay, go see if someone needs help. Come on, man. This guy. Can I sell stuff yet? Like, let's go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop stuff. In case, um... In case I come across some trees that need picking. And or some shells that need picking up as well, right? I wish I could, like, evacuate my pockets. I'm gonna sell that daffodil, you better believe. <laughs> you, you got something else for me? Dora. Entertain me. If you plant a piece of fruit in the ground, it'll grow into a fruit tree. Did you know that? Of course, if you want to bury fruit, you need to dig a hole, but you need a shovel. He sells shovels there. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I don't really care. Give me something other. Okay, so that's, that's Dora's house. Oh, look at this weird town layout. This is like its own island. It's like a New Horizons island over here. Completely split in the middle with a river. Alright, come on, kid. I want to go do some fishing. And then I want to actually see what's going on with, um... With giving fossils. I gotta buy some stationery for that. It's so... It's so crazy to think about, right? Like, usually you give a fossil to Blathers and he looks at it right away. And then says, hey, here's what it is. But in this game, you gotta mail it. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Lobo. Care to chat? Oh, no, I gotta say I'm here to help. 
Okay, go through the rig and roll, taking a top nook. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, I'm here to help, guy. Lobo is my new chief. He's Chief 2.0. All right, I need you to go out to Cube's place for me. I lent my Game Boy to Cube. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, dude, I got you. All right, I know where Cube's house is. Cube, GameCube. He lives right next to Pecan. Pecan. And I'll pick up these apples along the way. That's 300 bucks. Alright, GameCube. Cube sauce. I'm coming in. Knock twice. Paper thin door. Hey, Cube, come on, man. Where are you? No, he must be nearby. GameCube. Oh, hey, dude, there you are. Any news? Did it, dude? I'm picking up your Game Boy. So you think you guys swing by? Yeah, dude, I got you. Okay, cool. Oh, too bad I can't, like, play it. That'd be awesome. I would love to play the GameCube right now. Or the Game Boy. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not going to his house. He's right outside. Cool house, though. He's got the little uh, heater. Space heater. What's up, Lobo? Get over here. Okay, I've got your Game Boy. Although I could have easily kept it. Okay, so he gave me a new outfit. I wonder what happens if I change out of my work uniform. Is Tom Nook gonna yell at me? Chichi print. Was this the one? Hold on. Is this what I came to town with? Or did I come to town with the future shirt? Yeah, yeah, I came to town with future shirt. So here we go. We just got a brand new, um, a new shirt. I'm gonna keep on my work uniform just to stay in, uh in work mode because that's what we're doing here we're we're putting in this hard work so that nook can finally uh cut the leash and we can have full reign of what we want to do in this town and i got all this stuff waiting to sell for nook over here what's up nook okay excuse me were you able to help out yes 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 did you see anything did you get anything good in return the critters in town are very generous so your work never goes unrewarded. Hey, there we go. That's pretty good. What's next? Okay, take this carpet to Lobo. Dude, come on, man. No more fetch quests. Just because I'm not watching doesn't mean you can't stop and chit chat. All right, then there's no way to keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. All right, so I'm going to go deliver this to Lobo. I'm curious, like, how many of these little fetch quests is he going to have me do before I'm able to actually live my best life over here in A Nation? Is this how all the Animal Crossing games start? Oh man, I'm curious. Lobo, hey dude. I got a delivery, here we go, take it. It's a carpet. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's because you're ignorant. A person of, of your questionable taste probably doesn't know this, but you have to find the perfect wallpaper and carpet for the style. That's true, I mean, you should have matching things in your house right so hey I got some myself great I can easily sell it thank you it might be worth a couple hundred bucks but I suppose that Tom is doing the best he can to get new items every day okay 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 otherwise if I miss on a cool item yes 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 okay thanks guy see luckily it was just messing around with Lobo over here because if um, if not then I would be like trekking all around this weird layout town. So weird. All right. Okay, here we go. In any case, putting a lot of effort into your work. So here's 580. Deliver this to Tad. Tad is somewhere to the south. All right, here we go. It's fine, Tom Nook. I got you. Totally not getting... Uh, a little old here. It's not getting stale. Uh, Tad is Piper. Tad is all the way down there. Okay, that's fine. We can go straight south. It's a straight shoot south. Oh my gosh, you can't jump down. Nope. Don't even think about jumping down. I gotta try to remember where all of these little uh, things that are buried in the ground are for when we're able to buy our shovel to dig them up. Any other shells? Hey, free shell, baby. Yeah. All right, Tad's house. Taddy. Taddy, are you outside or inside? Hey, don't you run away. 
<laughs> Don't you run away, slurp. All right, here we go. I got a delivery for you. Here we go. Enjoy. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> you wrote this, didn't you? Too Ted, please bail me out. I did. No big deal. I just wanted to thank you for it. Uh, mail makes me want to go, oh, yeah, slurp. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you guys ever write, like, a mean letter to a villager? Tell me I'm not the only one that did that. <laughs> Dear Tad, please leave my town. Thank you. Pack up your things and go. Porter will help you. <laughs> What's the meanest thing? Oh my gosh, that's so hilarious. What's the meanest thing you actually wrote in a letter to one of your Animal Crossing, Crossing villagers? I couldn't, I couldn't remember. I'm sure I wrote some... Not, like, really mean, but, like, some people I just didn't want in the town. Like, you're taking a space that I could have, like, Chief in here. Or Bob, right? Like, get out of here. Leave. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice work. A very, very good. Now, here you go. 230 bells. Next job will be... Okay. Bulletin board. I want you to write an ad for the bulletin board. Okay, so here we go. I need some uh, thought from you guys in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments, what should we write on the bulletin board? Hey, the most creative thing wins. And of course, if it's too long, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> if it's too long, I'm not going to type it out. So quickly. All right, here we go. I'm going to write a new entry. Here we go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, give me some fun. Oh, I like Happy Mario Day. That's a really good one. Uh, give me some other things. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How's it going? Uh-huh, get some apples. I got a lot of them. Breaking news, the world will end in two seconds. Okay, send me money now. Uh, give me your bells. Uh, you know, I like that. I like the Happy Mario Day one because there's only one time a year where you can write that accurately. Happy? I mean, come on, man. Where's the numbers at? That was good. Good, good idea. <laughs> Add a little bit of southern flair. Happy Mario Day, y'all. It is Mario Day. Good job. Boo! That was a really good, and it was nice and short too. I didn't have to strain my hands with this non qwerty keyboard. <laughs> All right, wrote wrote the letter thingy. Yep, yep, yep. That was it. Very good. I suppose that means yes. You're all done. All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now done. Since I don't have any more work for you, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. The rest of your mortgage, of course, you still have to pay it all off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here, hmm? So far, you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17.4 left to pay. Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now, how could a youngster go about making some bells? I suppose running errands for villagers and selling things you no longer need. That should generate some cash flow, I think. If you got stuff to sell, just come and talk to me, yes? All right. Oh, I got tons of stuff to sell. You should see the outside of your shop, guy. All right, go to the post office, and if you can pay off about a 1,000 bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send for the raccoon goons. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Just a joke. Once you pay it off, we can talk about remodeling the place. That house you've got now is pretty small after all. I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes? Well, thanks for your help. Uh, I hope you'll come see me uh, for all your future shopping needs. Hey! Yes! I'm finally done working. I'm free. I'm free at last. All right. Beautifully done. Now look at this. Oh, what is that? I got a pitfall in my pocket. Is that a pitfall in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Here we go. Do come in. Have a look around. All right. Well, I need that shovel for starters. I need to sell everything. Please tell me I can sell more than one thing. Remember this daffodil? Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. I have no attachment to it. I can't sell more than one thing, and I can't stack things. <gasps> Never
Never mind. Yo, he buys all of them. That's great. I don't need a Chi-Chi print. Get out of here with that. We're selling it all, baby. Future shirt, gone. I'm going to be Nook forever. A Wental Trap? Oh, that better be worth a thousand. Dang it! <laughs> I don't even know what the hell Wental Trap is. Bamboo flooring? No, thank you. That's 340 bells. That's three apples. How about this? A white scallop. 450. That's expensive. Wow. Yo, I'm rolling. A sand dollar? 60 bells. Trash. All right, all right, all right. What else you got? A porcelain. 30 bells. Dude, this guy's being cheap, man. I, I got that on the floor. Lion's paw. 40 bells. Dang. So white scallop was really the best. It's unfortunate. All right. We're going to go over here. I'm going to take this shovel. 500 bells? Come on, man. That's a steal. I should actually steal it. Bad buy. Okay. That's fine. Nook, it's on. I'm going to pay off my loan, man. You better watch. Oh, I need that paper, too. Yeah, I need the paper. Let's just go sell everything first, though. All right, so I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to toss this on the ground. I'm going to pick up all these apples, and we're going to sell them all at once, which is going to be really cool. Because there is a little bit of quality of life where if you have multiples of the same item in your inventory, then he's going to take all of them, which is cool. Good job, developers. In 2001. Here's a compliment. Here's a compliment from yours truly, 19 years into the future. The concept of stacking fruits, though, does not come until like another 10 or something years. Alright, how much money is this? Oh, this is big money. Yeah, that's really big money. Okay, look at that. Look, we're almost at 3,000 bells, guys. This is great. See you later, Nook. Yeah, we sell everything. And you know what? I'm going to actually sell these flowers here. Believe it or not. None of this has any value to me. I'm going to sell these flowers, right? Can I pick them up? Oh, you can't pick up the flowers again after you plant them in Animal Crossing 1. <gasps> Interesting. The plot thickens. <laughs> the plot thickens, huh? Alright, here we go. Do I have anything good? Yeah, here we go. I'm here to get my like house expanded. I'm honestly gonna go inside my house and take the um, take that radio that he sold me, and I'm gonna sell it to him. <laughs> He's like, "Yo, I had a hard time selling that thing. No one bought it, but I'm gonna sell it to him." What a joke! Yo, it comes around full circle. Here we go. Because this is you have to make money. Just, you can't have any attachment to anything at the beginning. Not even the shirt that you wore. Coming into the train. Not even the shirt that you wore coming in. Not even. Give me this pad, though. All right, here we go. Uh, write a letter. Uh, we're going to go to the... Oh, you know, I haven't gone to the museum yet. So maybe if I step foot in the museum, then I can have a letter written to the museum. Got it. Got it. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Yo, pro strats for Animal Crossing. It's like an Animal Crossing speed run over here. <laughs> like, first one to 10,000 bells wins. Alright, uh, you! Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. You guys remember where- oh, oh, that's a bug! <gasps> I don't have a bug net, though. Where does one get one? <sighs> I don't know if there are things as money rocks in Generation 1. Gen 1 Animal Crossing. Look at this guy. Look at this guy calling it what it is. I can pick up things with my shovel, right? Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. I just sprout an extra hand. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna pick up all these shells. I'm gonna go make a quick stop to the museum. I'm gonna do a quick stop at the museum. And then I should be all set, man. This is gonna be great. Oh, yeah! My money tree! <sighs> Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Dropping the... I'm not gonna have time. I'm not gonna have time to throw the money back in there. To make a money tree. Nah, man. That's a free thousand bells. So, sorry, money spot. I don't have time for you. Dang. Although, if I were playing this game for more than, like, two days, I would absolutely invest in the money tree right there. Um, because if you throw in like 10,000 bells or like a thousand bells, that's a pretty good tree. It'll grow money for you. All right. But that takes like at least three or four days. I don't even know. Um, yeah, here, take this. And he's like, yo, you got to appraise it first. Maybe he's going to teach me about it. An unexamined fossil. My heart is all a Twitter. Okay. A very fervent pseudo paleontology. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. However, I must confess, I have yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer an official examination. If I are mistaken, you see, I fear I would be severely chastised. Okay. You'll need to send this to the main faraway museum. So interesting. So maybe within the time of Animal Crossing 1, Blather has actually got his certification so that he can appraise them by himself. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, here we go. Interesting. So that that's kind of cool. So a little bit of backstory about Blathers is, is that the reason why he's not able to assess them right off the bat is because he's not certified. Hmm. Interesting. All right, stop talking. Okay, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. A what? <laughs> okay, I got nothing else. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to write a letter. Where, why can't... Hold on, hold on. How does this work? Should I have been paying attention to what he said? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes. A miniature version of the main museum. Okay, okay. Maybe I should have been, like, listening to what he was saying rather than pressing the A button. All right, here we go. Uh, do you wish me to stop now? No, keep on going. Keep talking. Four collections, appraising each fossil. Okay, great. Thank you. And let's go. Okay, guy. Thank you. Okay, um, no. Why don't I have this? Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I can't do anything yet, so maybe I might sell the fossil then. Forget it. There's probably something that I'm missing yet that I'm not able to write a letter to them. Maybe I have to go to the post office or something. No way, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any kind of like little spots. I like this one. A gyroid! Yeah, dude. Yo, you see me predict that gyroid, though? I gotta come back to this spot. Mm. Okay, Lobo. I, I need to go sell some stuff before the shop closes. Yo, that prediction of the gyroid? You know what? I need a buddy. Get over here. No, don't talk to me. Not you. You're not my buddy. Get out of here. I've got a buddy, and his name is Gyroid. I love to pick this up, but my pockets are full. Uh, how about this? My my only friend, the Timpanoid. Here you go. <laughs> Get back there to the back wall you go. 
Give me that. What is that? It's college rule. Because college rules. All right, well, I'll go sell my college rule. So I can afford to go to college. All right, anyway, let's uh, let's sell our pockets. We'll evacuate our uh, our belongings here. And then I'll go looking around for some more stuff. I don't need anything else from him. Okay, here we go. I'd like to sell everything. Sell the fossil. Do you buy these? Oh, you can't. Dang, dude. No, no. No. My fossil, not yours, guy. All right, here we go. We're selling our other stuff. Okay, so we're going to do this. Selling a sand dollar. Man. We almost have like 10,000 bells, man. This thing's expensive. A Venus comb? Whoa. 150? No. A white scallop sells for very much. Yes, it is. That's almost a thousand bucks. There we go. Beautifully done. There we go. Shells, man. And look at this one. A lion's paw for 60 bucks. 40 bucks. No, that's kind of trash. All right. So we're going to sell the apples. I remember that there was a couple more spots in the ground. Then I don't know if there's anything else to do in the day, to be honest. Like, I don't really want to talk to all the villagers. Like, that's not really fun to me. The villagers aren't. It's hit or miss, right? 45 bells, college rule. Little did he know, he supplied me with that in his house. So I just sold him his own stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's do some more searching. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Can anyone confirm if there's a money rock in Animal Crossing 1? Ew. The heck was that? Weird. I don't have a thing. I don't have a net. So there is a net. So you guys are saying that there is possibly a money rock in Animal Crossing 1. All right. That means that I'm going to have to go to every single one of these rocks and hit them. And I'm just going to do a, a quick sweep around town to see where these rocks are. Here's one. Mm, this is a good spot right here. Hey! Actually, maybe that wasn't a good spot. Nope. Okay, we're gonna find the money rock, man. Let's go. I just gotta be better at sweeping these acres. That's the thing. Like, I didn't properly sweep this one acre. Yeah, see, look. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yes. Sweeping acres for rocks that may or may not house some money. Oh my gosh, what do I do with that? Can I sell it? <laughs> it's like a... You know, I didn't even find the police station. Wishing well... Oh, the police station's right here. Maybe there's some uh, lost and found stuff I can go sell. And we didn't even talk to Booker and um, the other guy. Alright, here we go. So I, I think I did a decent job of sweeping this area for these rocks. Let's look around some more. Sweeping these acres. This entire acre here is done. Okay, no rocks, no rocks. Uh-huh, sweeping, sweeping, sweeping up and down. You're getting to know every square inch of your town. This is cool. Dang it! Clankoids. So these gyroids are not useful like at all right they don't sell for anything maybe they sell for like two bells i don't remember too much about gyroids all i know is that i tried to collect a set like a tall one uh whatever other ones i tried to collect a full set dang dude where's that money oh my gosh here we go money nope 
I don't know, man. I'll believe it when I see it. I know Money Rock exists in um, Animal Crossing New Leaf, but I've, I don't think I've ever known about it when I was a, a small child playing this game. When I, back when I was a long baby. I was the longest baby you've ever seen playing this game. No more shells? Dang, dude. I'll pick that up though, that's for free. That's right, rock memorization. That's that's new meta. You have to know where exactly your money rocks are, especially when you play a brand new Animal Crossing file. So that you can just go like, hey, there's a rock over here, an acre B1, C2, FH, and then you just kind of have like a routine and you check the money rock. Cause you can get at least, what, how much? 10K if you do a money rock correctly? Dang, dude. Nada. All right, here we go, here we go. Nope, why don't the stars come out of that one? Is that not like a dud? A dud hit? I need money. I don't need gyroids. Give me money. Give me that money. Yo, this guy is trying to work off his debt right here. Okay, hold on, hold on. I still need to sweep this area. I didn't sweep upwards. I gotta sweep these acres, man. Let me just start from the bottom, and then I'll work my way up. That money! No money rock. I'm gonna start in this corner. Hey, okay, so this one's like highlighted, maybe, with some, uh... Like a pattern on the ground? That means that it's the money rock, right? Dude, what?! I don't even have a fishing net. There's the Able Sisters. Oh, sweet. That's 300 bucks. Wee. All right, now. Okay, Money Rock is here. I swear we're gonna find it. If it exists. So standing here, standing here. Dude, non-existent. Just calling it, man. Give me that, give me that. Two fossils, not bad. Tom Nook doesn't buy him though. And it takes a day to send him out, but I think I can time travel a day. Okay, so where was I sweeping? Okay, so I went over here. I was sweeping up and down this section here. I don't remember seeing anything in this particular acre. I don't remember seeing anything by the wishing tree, wishing well. There's, yeah, there's typically no rocks over here. Okay, oh, here's Booker. Uh, these guys are cool, but I'm actually here for a rock. I'll go inside and, and steal your lost and found stuff though, without even talking to you. I lost a shirt. I'm sorry, but I lost two shirts. Sorry, Booker. I lost two shirts and then a, a piece of furniture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I lost them. It's a rally shirt. Yeah, absolutely. It's mine. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and my circus shirt. Yeah, yeah, I lost that one too. And this piece of furniture that is actually a, uh, a merge sign. Yeah, that one's mine as well. Thanks, guy. <laughs> Just some random items showing up. Later, buddy. Give me those free things. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for not talking to me. All right, next. I'm looking for a money rock guy. Hey, Booker and Copper, can you tell me where this money rock is? <laughs> it's non-existent. Except for when it's right here. Oh, check this out. Oh gosh. Ew, ew, this alignment's nasty. Okay, how about this? Yeah, here we go. This is it. There's no such thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. This has to be it. Dude! 
There's no such thing as a money rock in this game. It's a myth. It's a myth. Just because it's a new leaf. I don't know if I did this one. No way. You. Did I do this one? See, like, I'm forgetting which ones I'm doing. Because I'm not really combing through. No way, man. I've done, like, every every rock. Except for, like, the top corner. I didn't go in the top corner. <sighs> I just walked past that one. I did that one. All right, here we go. Let's go. Um, last couple acres. I did that one. I did this one. I literally just did them. Let's go upstairs and see. There's got to be another rock. Or two. You, right here. This has to be it. Um, we're going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. Has to be it. Dude! Don't sing to each other. <laughs> Don't talk to each other. Help me find this money rock and I'll split the earnings. 90-10 I'll split it. Cube, get over here. This has to be it. Go nuts trying to find this thing. Okay, fine, fine, fine. One. Two. Oh, I was so hoping it was. Mm, I need to go sell stuff. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come right back. Don't worry. That little acre. Oh, and that one too. Ooh, ooh. Mm, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Here we go. Money rock. Yeah, the money rock! We got it! Yeah! Woo, boy! It exists! It's here! Oh, beautifully done, my guys. We did it. The money rock is not a myth. I swear, I repeat, it is not a myth. I didn't. I don't know if you can get all nine, though, but that's money. I hope I got a 10k one. I'll find out soon, won't I? Oh, that's a fat one. I did get 10,000 bells. Holy moly. Yo, guys, 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 guys. We did it. Straight money rock. Get out of here, you stupid gyroid for now. Okay, now let's take a look at how much money we got out of it. 1,000, 1,000, a big 10K, another 1,000, and then a couple, um, a couple 100s. Yo, that's big money. Yo, that's my loan right here. That's my loan right there. Dude, that's amazing. Oh, see, all the time we were looking for the money rock was time well spent. Because that's exactly what a money rock is. And you saw what I did there, right? So some of you guys may be wondering, like, why are you digging, like, two holes before you start hitting a money rock? Well, the reason why I do that is because there's a certain time limit that as soon as you initiate the money rock, you're going to be able, be able to get these hits. And if you don't put your back against some stuff, you're going to be, like, moving backwards and you have to move forward and waste time. So if you don't do this part, you're not going to get the 10k ever. Because like if I just did this, like trying to get it without backing myself, I would move back and then I would accidentally like dig or whatever and then I'd have to move forward and try to do another thing. No, that's not how things work. So there's your pro tip, all you guys uh, are, that are Animal Crossing fans out there. There's your pro tip, how to get 10K once a day. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. All right, let's go sell our stuff before Nook closes. Yo Nook, I'm done with my loan guy. My first loan is here. How much money? Oh, I got one more thing. Oh, I'm gonna sell him one cool thing before we go. Yo, that was cool. It's cool, man. 
There's no music in it. No. Give me that. That guy's my only friend. I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> but I'm gonna sell Nook his stupid uh, radio again. Alright, 10k bells. Nook, I'm coming, man. We made, we paid off our first loan. Welcome. Do come in. Feel free to look around. Yeah, here you go. Okay, we got some things to sell. I'd like to sell these bags of bells. How much for the clankoid? 828? Dang! I didn't realize that gyroids are expensive. Wow, dude. Check that out. Mini fizzoid? Ooh, 828. That's almost a thousand bells a pop. I should go sell my friend that's inside my house. <laughs> remember, remember, you've got to not have any emotional attachment to any of your items in any Animal Crossing games forever. That's how we play Animal Crossing, right? No emotional attachment whatsoever. You just pay off your loans. Merge sign? Yeah, I found it for free. You just gotta be like, you gotta be a shark. In the, in the waters of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. I think, it, I think it's a little bit more fun to play like this because you're like, yo, how much bells can I get in such a small amount of time? You're like, yeah, okay, come on, let's go. 92 bells, look at that. In about an hour, we got 22,000 bells. Yeah, totally champs. All right, so here we go. That was great. Here we go. So I'm gonna go to the post office. Wait, 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 you mean to tell me there is a multiple? You can sell multiple with X? Mm okay, where were you at the beginning of the live stream when I was asking about that? Hmm. I'll give it a shot. I'm going to... How do I pay off my loan? 17-4. Yeah, dude. Here, take the 17-4. Enjoy. Well, it looks like you paid back your loan. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can help with? No, we're good. And now I'm going to step out and go, yeah! I paid off my loan. I'm completely debt-free. That's right. Debt-free is the way to be. So, yeah, there we go. Within the first hour or so, I was able to pay off my first loan. Thank you very much. It was a great time. Thanks for cheering me on. We believe in the money rock, and the money rock believed in us. So let's see what Tom Nook wants us to do now. Thank you. Thanks much. I very much appreciate you paying off your house in such a timely manner. You're a dynamo, yes? I knew you'd pay it all back. I never doubted. You're quite responsible for someone your age. Thanks. Is this your way of telling me your house is too small? Don't be shy. It's normal to want a bigger home. Hmm. It's just animal nature. Well, if you like, I can remodel it for you nicely. I can easily make it bigger. Then you'll be able to fit a lot more furniture in it. And with more furniture comes more happiness. So how about it? Would you like me to remodel your house? What do you guys think? Should we do it? Or should we just live debt free? And just mess around with the town? Dig out some more stuff. What do you guys think? What do you think? Should we do it? All right, we'll do it. That's what I imagined. If anyone would want to remodel their house, it would be you. So since we're remodeling, what color roof would you like? Oh, okay. How about this? You guys pick. Red, orange, yellow. Pale green, sky blue. Another color. Uh, blue, purple, pink. What do you guys want? Black, white, brown. Okay, um, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Blue, a lot of you guys are saying blue. Sky blue, specifically. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go sky blue. Well, I should be finished. Pale green could happen another time. So he's gonna be finished tomorrow. That means that we are done for the day. Within an hour of playing this game, we have paid off our loan. We have we've done some pretty good work. I don't think there's anything else to do. What do you guys say? Should we time travel to tomorrow? But Abdallah, you can't time travel in Animal Crossing. I hear some of you thinking in your head. Well, guess what? Everyone plays Animal Crossing differently. 
So, that being said, let's go, Gyroid. Take me to tomorrow. Please enter the house. All right, all right. What's up, Tad? This is cool. I like day one. What do you guys think? Uh, I think we should um, I sh we should play a little bit more. How much more do you want to play? We've got a lot of people watching right now. It's up to you guys. We can go save and quit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time traveling life. Let's go. Oh, do we meet Mr. Assetti? Does he come out and threaten us on day two? Hold on, let me remove my memory card really quick. <laughs> We're all done here. Hey, catch you later. All right, dude. Let me just let me just turn off the system really quick and uh, remove my memory card while you're saving. Hey, is that me? That's not me. What the heck. Oh, so you're back, huh? It's March 10th. It's actually March 11th. You got the time wrong, guy. Sorry. You're mistaken. Um... Yeah. So the timer only goes up to 2099. Just saying. Yeah, see, Lobo, you, you're sadly mistaken. There's, like, something called, in the Animal Crossing world, like, Nook Savings Time. And uh, with Nook Savings Time, you have to roll forward a day and then allow the new events to happen. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that at home. But, uh, yeah, like, once you've done everything in the day and you still want to play, then you just enact Nook Savings Time. <laughs> and you Nook Savings Time to Christmas... Nook savings time to your birthday. Nook saving. Oh my gosh, someone sent me a letter. Is it from mom? Oh, from the museum. Hey. Okay, the Faraway Museum cordially invites you to take part in the free fossil identification program. Send us any fossil you find and we'll identify it and return it promptly. Okay, cool. Good to know. That's awesome. Mr. Assetti did not say hello to me. That's fine. Whatever. Yo, we're good. Yo, check this out. Yo, we're gonna write a letter. To the museum. Hey. Exclamation mark. What are we, Snake from Metal Gear Solid? Uh, that works. Uh, write letter. Yo, my menuing skills, though. Yo, let's mail these. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go find some fossils and maybe donate them. That's a butterfly. Oh my gosh, I need more tools. Notice how I called them tools. I usually call them weapons. <laughs> I'm getting back into swing Animal Crossing. Don't worry, this isn't our first rodeo. Oh, can I multiple select them? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna test this out. No, Y goes back. Hold on. Whatever, we'll do one at a time for now. Pelly! We're gonna mail some more letters, man. We gotta, we gotta figure out these fossils, man. Three letters on the, on the, the edge over there. Okay, this is great. So now, since it's a brand new day, we can go find another money rock. And what if I told you this right here was a money rock? What if I told you? This right here was a money rock next to his little brother. What if I told you? What if I told you? What if? Dang it. It's fine. It's fine. What if I told you this one was the money rock? Dang it. <laughs> Literally the last rock that I checked. 
The last rock that I checked was the money rock last time. What a joke. What if it's like that? Like you have to hit every single rock and then if you hit every single rock, then the last one hit will be the money rock. Yo, free stuff in the dump? Heck yeah, man. That's where I buy all, all my clothing from the dump. Okay, so that was a rock. That's a, a ladybug on top of those flowers. Cool. Hey, Tom Nook. Hey, my plant. Why did it die? They're too close together. Oh no, it's so sad. <laughs> Look at that sad looking thing. Man, get that out of here. A little sapling. Uh, is that a fishing net or a fishing thing? What is that? Okay. Yeah, Happy Room Academy. Okay. All you have to do is arrange things in your house with a little style. On occasion, they'll judge your interior. As you try to boost your score. And then how about it? Think you could do that? Yeah, dude. Let's go. Okay, Happy Room Academy. Okay. That's cool. Like, I've got no furniture in my house, so I don't really care about Happy Room Academy. And I don't honestly know what you get with these points. Like, do they award you money? A town rating? Like, I don't, I don't know too much about this. Okay, so he's forcing me into this. Okay, give me that bug net. I guess I'll attempt to catch some bugs. I really wanted the fishing rod. But I'll take a bug net. That's fun. If I see a bug, like that ladybug on top of the, um... On top of those little daisies or whatever, I'm gonna go catch it. All right, later, Tom Nookington. Is that ladybug still there? Hey, the heck, Tom Nook. Whoa, whoa. Hey, there's a butterfly. Whoa, a plum bonsai? Yo, that'll be some good money. Ooh. Yeah, I got him. A clouded yellow butterfly. It's such a cute yellow. Yay. Dude, I caught my first bug. Yahoo. Okay, now do you guys remember all the acres in which rocks are? And can you draw me a diagram so I can go visit them really quick? All right, who's on it? <laughs> draw me a quick diagram of where the rocks are. Uh, you know, it's a five by five, 25 square. How many rocks are where? And then, uh, then we'll go from there. It'll be fun. Diagram of all the rocks. Dang it. Dude, come on. Like, let's go. <laughs> Ugh. I really hope the Animal Crossing um, Money Rock is going to be in New Horizons. I really do. It, they have to. If it's in the original one, they have to put it in this new one. Or else it's going to be illegal. And I'm not going to buy the game. I'm going to boycott New Horizons if the Money Rock's not in it. <laughs> Said no one ever. No, it's going to be really fun. I can't wait to see what happens. But, like, I'm just going to do my dailies. And then, like, what happens if the dailies are done? Then what, time travel the next day and see what's going on? Like, how are we gonna do that? You just wait patiently for the next day? I don't know. Not a rock. What are you guys gonna do in Animal Crossing when you guys get the new game? Let me know in the comments. I can only imagine that you can play this game for like a week without it getting like super redundant in whatever season you're doing. I can only imagine, maybe a week and a half. I'll give it 10 days. And then it's like, all right, like, I think we've caught everything in this area, especially if you play, like, at least for two hours, you know, a day, something like that. Budget your time accordingly. Okay, uh, yeah, everything is filled. I'm gonna put my bug net right inside here. Extra space, heck yeah. Fish, this. Money rock, now. One does not simply walk away. Dang. Yeah, the fruit exchange. Oh, that's a good idea. We should make a fruit exchange video. 
What a wonderful idea. Dang. That's a great idea. A fruit exchange video. Yo, you come in, you jump into the comments, you type in whatever friend code you need. And then you just like, hey, I'm looking for these fruits. This is my native fruit. Looking for so and so and so. And then you go and visit everyone's towns. That's so cool of an idea. Um, we're gonna get rid of this dumb thing. That's a really cool idea. I need to go buy some more stationery. Fruit exchange. Did I do this one? I think I did both these. I wish the holes would stay, right? I wish the holes would stay so that you can kind of see whether or not you did one of the, um... Please get out of here. Can you just leave? You're interrupting. This is the money tree. That's why she's guarding it. Get out of here, you dumb mouse. Dang it. <laughs> she's like, you're wasting your time, guy. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take all the help we can get with making the whole Animal Crossing New Horizons thing easier. Uh, I see some of you guys mentioning like spreadsheets and stuff like that. Oh, sure thing. Like we'll figure it out. Okay, so here we go. 148,000 bells for this next loan. You're insane. I don't think I can pay that much. Like I made 20,000 in like a matter of an hour, but this guy? No. Can't do it, guy. Here, take this citrus gingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I got that awesome bonsai for like 400 bucks. Here's 450. A red clock? Yep, that's gone. Okay, so Y goes back. Hold on, hold on. Can you pre actually press? Oh, I can press X. Yes, thank you. That's so good. Yes, I can. Thank you, big guy. Yes, you can press X to sell it all. Good job. Just so I don't accidentally, like, mail <laughs> my uh, bug net back. Alright, here we go. It's extra storage space. Only makes sense. Cool. Now just made extra storage space. Let's go. All right, we gotta find that money rock. <laughs> Priority number one, find money rock. Priority number two, ignore all villagers. <laughs> Please tell me I'm the only one that doesn't honestly care about the villagers. Unless they're a really cool villager, like I can care less about them. They don't do anything for me. Unless it's like Chief or Bob or Tangy, no. Get ignored, unless I'm forced to talk to you. I'll do my own thing in this town. <laughs> oh, the villagers, man. Did I do these? I don't even remember. Give me a money rock, please. Yeah. So, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm honestly curious. Do you guys actually interact with your villagers? Like, what do you do? You send letters, you talk to them, like you pretend that they're friends of yours? This concept. This concept of friends. What is this? Friend? What is it? <laughs> Did I do this one? Oh my gosh. I got need I need a checklist, man.
Hey, give me that. You talk to them, Clay's your favorite buddy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, you want to give, you want them to give you free stuff. But see, the odds of them giving you free stuff are slim to none. And sometimes they'll take your stuff. Like, remember one of those animals took my things the other day? It's like, hey, you know what? I'm forcing you to take this. Like, I'm forcing the stuff out of your pockets. Okay, take the shells. Ooh, that's a money rock. If I've ever seen a money rock, this one is it. If I've ever seen a money rock. Check this out. One, two, money! Dang it. So confident. Dang. Okay, we got one more thing to find on the ground. I'm gonna go find a money rock along the way. There's nothing in the acre over here. There's no... Yeah, there's no rocks in these three acres at all. Right, because these are the two, the amenities. So it's easy to say like, hey, there's no rocks over here. So just memorizing where they, oh, oh, here we go. Memorizing where they are. Stand in uh, one corner. Ugh, you can do it in two holes if you're good. Okay, here we go. Money, rock. Dang, dude, what? Uh, okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. You? Your head is shaped like a money rock. I was about to hit it. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna dig it up. I can't... I can't bury anything into it because, for one, that costs me bells. And for two, I don't have an axe to chop down all the trees near it. Because there is something in the in-game code that prevents trees from growing if there are too many trees nearby. So, like, each, I don't know, acre has an X amount allotment of trees that you can put in it. So, that's kind of a thing that you gotta be like, alright, well, you gotta weigh your options with that one. And I don't have access. Um, to an axe to cut down some trees or else I'd be cutting down all these trees right now. There's way too many Yeah, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see where uh, New Horizons comes into play I think we're gonna get a feeling of deja vu by the end of this because we're gonna do this exact same thing in Animal Crossing City Folk and I've, n I've never played that one before so it's gonna be a completely new experience to me And then it comes with a thing called we speak like what the heck is that? I have it. Does it still work in 2020? Like what the heck? Not too bad, 2,000. Not too bad at all. <laughs> what did We Speak do? What was it? I honestly couldn't tell you what We Speak did. Did you talk to your friends? Did you talk to animals? Like, hey, you Pikachu, what, what's the deal? I could have sworn I did this one, but. Yeah, we'll double check. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I tried those two, and I called them money rocks very confidently. It was the Nintendo Online... Can does it? Do you think it works in, uh, in 2020? Or did you need some sort of online service for it? Was it just, like, absolutely free? Did you not need to download, like, an, uh, like a software... I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued, kind of. I'm honestly intrigued about We Speak. I'm gonna try to speak into it. And I'm gonna say, hey, is there anybody home? This is Abdallah from the year 2020. Abdallah from the year 2020, is anyone there from 2008? Right, is that what it was? Is there anybody home? Can anyone hear me in the past? <laughs> Yo, we deposit a lot of- Oh, what? You can't accept any more letters? Get out of here. Tell Pete to hurry up. Yo, Pete stinks. Pete only delivers like five letters. Oh, there you are. Go. Go. You better fly. Where's my slingshot at? Where's my slingshot, guy? I'm gonna shoot you out. Out of the sky. Okay, so now you did it.
Here we go. More letters. I got more fossils. The Abdala Nation town. We'll be thriving with fossils. No, we're done. We speak. So you mean to tell me they shut down the functionality of We Speak? That's sad. Because I just bought a new one. Well, of course, like secondhand. I think it was used. Um, but it's new to me. And I want to be able to experience We Speak. How dare you shut down the service? I'm just a little late to the party. Did I do all these? Man. I wish there was a checklist. Come on, guy. Nope. Nope. The apple trees are not growing back either, and I did that one. I don't know, I'm having flashbacks of the previous day. Actual yesterday, right? <laughs> not time travel yesterday, but actual yesterday. I think I did that rock, and I think I did that one too. Mmm. Trying to think here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Whew. Okay, these acres are clear. I think I did that one. Money Rock, 10K bells me. Let's go. I'm looking for it, man. I'm looking for it, Money Rock. I got bells on the brain. Hey, here we go, here we go. Mm, how did I do this one? It's right here. And it's right here. And money happens. No. <laughs> right here. And right here. Nope. So we're like 0 for 20 on these money rocks. You're an animal. And I am here. Dang it, let's go. Maybe it's the same spot. Or maybe it doesn't refresh. I don't know, man. They're like, yo, we're on to you, time traveling. Using the uh, the Nook savings time, we're on to you. We're gonna not allow you to get money rocks. Dang. I think I've exhausted pretty much everything. Like, the, the fruit trees aren't growing fruit back. My money rock's not giving me my money. Yeah, kick that into the river. Whatever his basketball that was. <laughs> this was the money rock. Last time! Dang it! Oh, you! You're a money rock. You look like one. Yeah, let's go, money! One more, thank you. That one more is the 10K. That's right, ladies and gents. That last one is always the 10K. You cannot get any more than that. Beautiful, baby. Give me that money. The last rock that we hit, do you think it's programmed like that? Look at that fat 10K. That fat 10k, are you kidding me? Yo, dude. That's right. Welcome to Animal Crossing. How many of you guys, raise your hand in the comments and don't be shy. How many of you guys did not know about the money rock and you learned something new? Don't be shy, it's okay. It's cool, man. It's not common knowledge. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Okay, so now... I think I'm done for the day. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. I don't want to talk to any villagers. That's a waste of time. Pfft. Who like talks to villagers? <laughs> All right. Anyway, who like talks to villagers? Am I right? All right. We're gonna save. Adios. That's it. You guys want to do another day? And this is how you play Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's a race 
It's a race. No, I'm kidding. It's not a race. You play Animal Crossing at your own pace. Right right now, for the sake of the live stream, I think that if we do one more day's worth of stuff, I think we're going to be all set. Because then maybe I'll get a fishing rod. But, like, what else am I going to do? Like, talk to a villager? Pfft. No, we don't do that in this household. Annabelle McCain says, I had this game for 18 years and I never knew about the 10k. Oh, well, now you do. Oh, dang. That's cool. Love it. I love Hey, it's QB. Yo, what's happening in town? Slot A, March 11th. Well, see, here's the thing. Um, see, it's not March 11th. You got it wrong. We're on Nook Savings Time over here. And Nook Savings Time uh, says that it's actually uh, the, the 12th of March. Yeah, you got that a little bit wrong, Cube, but, you know, it's okay. It's fine. Those eyes of yours, maybe you can't really tell time or dates. But, uh, that's it. Alright, let's go, man. Oh. Wait, we should make it, we should make it Saturday. And go see KK, right? Doesn't he do a thing at, like, 7 o'clock at night? Oh, I got mail. You got mail. Wow, from the 90s. Oh, and some an unmarked letter. What is this? From the HRA. How dare you? Crumple that up real quick. Uh-huh, a dinosaur egg. Cool. Oh, a plesiosaur. Cool. And an apasaurus torso. Oh, a patasaurus? A patasaurus? I think that's what it was. Whatever. Okay, a Patasaurus, and then we got um, right over here. Ta-da! Yo, so what do we do? What do we do here? Do we sell the fossils, or do we donate them to the museum? Ooh, that's a good ethical question here. What would you do? Would you sell them for that big money so that you can make your house even bigger? Or would you donate them for the good of the town? <laughs> wow, okay, okay. You say you would say sell the extras. Oh, I'm not talking about extras. I'm talking about like these are the ones. These are, I have a an empty I have a straight empty museum right now. With absolutely no fossils in there. Donate or sell them. Oh, man, you got a fishing net. Hey, come on, man. How come you don't sell a fishing net, guy? How much money will you give me for these fossils? That's the real question. And these apples. That's 10,000. Uh, I think there's only one right answer here. <laughs> oh, we're making that money. Sorry, blathers. Blathers, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about that life right now. That's so funny, right? Um, anyway. Yo, that's 10k bells, like, come on. That's me finding a money rock for a day. Alright, what's this? Get rid of that trash. Yeah, sorry, Blathers. I will donate the butterfly, though. If you want something. I know how much Blathers likes bugs. Blathers loves bugs so much that I will I will donate the butterfly to him. Before we end this stream, I will donate the butterfly. Does that does that sound fair? Because I sold the because I sold Because <laughs> I sold the um the fossils. Cause Blather was like, oh man, I heard you mailed some letters. Did you get anything good? He's like waiting with bated breath. But I said, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Blather. Is no, I, I didn't get any fo fossils from the faraway museum. They must have misinformed you when uh, you talked to them last. Oh dang! Hold on, that's a pill bug. Get back here. I'll give you this, Blathers. I know how much you love bugs. Give me that. That's right. I bet that's a bitter pill for it to swallow. That was really awful. 
See the game being like aware of the the corny puns. It's on the exact opposite side of the menu, like come on. No. <laughs> Get out of here. There we go. Okay, we're in business. Here we go, here we go. More fossils, more money. Yes, let's go. All right, so now we're gonna go right here. Animal crossing. Hello, nope. We and we still don't have a fish. Yet. Like that's a bummer. It's such a missed opportunity right now because like I can go fishing for some cool fish and I can give the fish to blathers. It's kind of a yeah. It's a, oh my lord! Who in the world is this? What are you doing here? A special visitor, Wendell. Oh, he's so hungry. What are you hungry for? So weak. Lost ten pounds. Hunger. Stomach pain. Must eat food. Yeah, dude. Here, I got some food. Uh, do you eat bugs? Uh, what's this? No, nah, not edible. Wait, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait, no! That was my pill bug! What are you doing? I was gonna give that to Blathers, guy. He lost another pound just talking to me? <laughs> so I gotta feed him some food, but like, I don't have any more fruit. I sold all my fruit. So, looks like he's gonna starve. Like most of my villagers do. Sorry, Wendell. Okay, so does anyone know what Wendell sells? Does he sell like uh, like wallpapers or carpets or something that I don't need? <laughs> Wendell. Oh my, Wendell. I'm I don't have time for a tree, but that's an easy thousand bucks. I'll take it. Make that. Oh my gosh. He sells patterns. I don't know. I don't know what the dude sells. Does he sell seashells by the seashore? I don't have anything for him. I'm like completely broke. I only have three more spots. One, two. Dude, he took my pill bug. All right, you want to see the Able Sisters? I'll show you the Able Sisters, sure. I should have been talking to them every day, right? You gotta, ooh, uh, you gotta be talking to them every day. That's the thing, right? Yeah, 10K, baby, let's go. Yeah, let's eat one more. Thank you so much. Woo, this one right here is a 10K. Yeah, we love it, man. We love that big money. But I'm not gonna leave it on the ground. No, I gotta trash these things. Yo, one does not simply walk past the potential money rock, right? For an easy 10k bells. Let's go. Give me that money. Yes. <laughs> Yo, get rich quick right here. Check that big fat 10k. Give me that now. So good. Yo, three money rocks? I'm telling you guys. Stick with me. I'll make you guys billionaires. Especially when Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out. You guys will be billionaires right along with me. It's gonna be a fun time. Yes, money. So I think we're good for today. I think it's time to uh, go to the next day. <laughs> That's really it. That's honestly it. Like the fastest way to make money in the game. Money rock, time travel. Money rock, time travel. You make 10, uh, 10K every five minutes. Done. Just kidding. You gotta pick up some trash along the way, right? Oh no, I'm not selling this fossil. No, forget that. I gotta send it in. <clears throat> yeah, that was chump change. Did not appreciate that.
Okay, more fossils. All right, so let's go. I showed uh, when you guys asked to see the Able Sisters, so let's go say hi to them. Honestly, don't care much about the Able Sisters in this game, simply because there's really nothing to do other than patterns. And again, not really into pattern making. Although I did make a pretty mean Batman and Spider-Man outfit in my um, in my main town 19 years ago, when I cared about patterns and thought it was cool to walk around with some unlicensed merchandise. But since then. We only wear licensed merch. Because we know how things go, right? We know how things go. Alright, so which one is the Able Sisters? Oh, right here. It's called Taylor. Not about that unlicensed merchandise life. All official merch right here, just saying. <laughs> Alright, hey, we're your, the famous fashion designer. Hi, and hi, you must be Sable. I'm too busy right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, talk to me. Oh, my claws are full right now. I'm too busy right now, I'm sorry. All right, well, here we go, this is the shop. You guys can see that these are the patterns that you guys can make. And you can make a little rainbow ducky umbrella, and you can do this stuff, and you can see their family portrait. If you look in the top corner, you can see that some of them are married, some of them are selling a birthday. There's a snowman, there's like maybe a dad, like a hedgehog with like glasses on in one of the pictures. I don't know, there's a picture of like a log cabin house. It's interesting to kind of think about, but anyway. There's the uh, the Able Sisters. One of you guys was uh, curious about that. Courtney, I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so anything to do. I mean, we can go pick up some more seashells. I, maybe there's a tree with an apple in it and I can go feed the walrus guy. Again, I don't honestly care about him. Unless he got something like really, really special that he's going to give me, but I sold all the apples. Like, I haven't eaten in three days since I moved to the town of A Nation. I haven't eaten a single thing. I'm just running out here hitting, uh, hitting rocks with shovels, man. Like, that's all I do. Making that 49,000. Give me that pill bug. Yes. Give me that. We were going to donate it. That's right. Now I got another pill bug for my guy. Hey, Blathers. And yeah, I walked past that weed. Absolutely, I did. Hey, yo, I got a bug for you. I know how much you love bugs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Tell me what you know about pill bugs. Enjoy. Loves bugs. Ah, who? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, that's a pill bug, if I'm not utterly mistaken. It's eyeballs. Ugh. No, no, it's not necessary. Please, leave in the container. Protocols. I have to say that I am not overly fond of insects. I quite simply do not like touching them. Ugh. Does it? Tell me, have you ever turned over a pill bug and examined its repellent underside? No, I haven't. The legs, so many of them, jerking, wiggling, writhing. Ugh. Wretched little monsters. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I got this little butterfly that's been taking up inventory space in my pockets. Where did my butterfly go? Did I sell it by accident? Okay, never mind, I don't have a butterfly. Sorry, I didn't mention anything. Um, but yeah, that, that's interesting. I must have sold it at some point. Sorry, Blathers. Oh, it's a butterfly for Blad. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, he's looking for food. Get this guy out of my town. No one invited you here. There's a strict security protocol to not allow strangers into my town. And he somehow eluded the guards, Booker and Copper. And Cube. What am I doing here? There's really nothing else, right? No. Is there anything else? I'm trying to like look on the ground to see if there's any other like fossil things that I can kind of dig up. But we found our money rock really, really quick. So I think today's the day where we finish off. All right, so someone look up the time when KK Slider makes an appearance on Saturdays. And then we'll go see KK Slider and then we'll call it a live stream. Oh, and then we have to go visit Mr. Rossetti too. Like I have to go bother Mr. Rossetti at least 20 times. Because that's also really funny to me. Where the heck is the the way out of here? All right, I need to go. Like, ugh. 
Okay, 8 p.m. confirmed. Okay, we got a confirmed 8 p.m. So we're gonna go out here to 8 p.m. on a Saturday night. And I think he plays in front of the train station, if I recall correctly. I do wanna mail a couple letters before we go. I don't know why, but I'm do what in the world of volleyball? Cool, maybe. I don't know what the heck that was. Anyway, I got 50,000. I got a lot of money. Here we go, send this. Wait, that's my shovel. Unsend, unsend. That was my shovel, I sent it away. Give me that, it's right, can I just have it? Okay, so that's why you don't put your tools in your sendable mail. I should have had like an unsendable mail. <laughs> I'm gonna reset the game right now. Give me that back. That's my $500 shovel. Well, I don't know. The, the Faraway Museum's gonna be like, oh, this shovel over here. That's ancient and... Uh, give me that butterfly. Ugh. Get back here. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> The shovel will now be examined to see whether or not it's, um, it's ancient, right? It's an ancient shovel. All right, so we're going to go save. We did get our money rock three days in a row. It's perfect. We mailed some things. We checked out the wares over in Tom Nook's. And then now we're going to go save and quit. And we're going to uh, fast forward to 8 p.m. on a Saturday evening. We're going to go say hi to KK Slider. And it'll be a fun time. And then we're going to go mess around with, with Rossetti. And then that's going to be the live stream. And then tomorrow we're going to start up um, Animal Crossing City Folk. Because I think that'll be a little bit more exciting. Because I haven't played that one ever. And I'll see if We Speak works. Oh my gosh. Who is that villager? And how did you get into my town? What's up, chickadee? Uh, see, here's the thing. It's not the 12th. We're enacting Tom Nook. What's it called? Tom Nook Savings Time? <laughs> and we're going to demolish a house. All right, so here we go. It's going to be 8 p.m., so we're going to be 20 o'clock. Twenty o'clock on Saturday. Seems right. All righty, it's all good. You set to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, set me up. I don't think we need to go find the money rock. I'm okay. This town is just a temporary town. It's just a little trial town. I'm not gonna go live in this town and make this a full let's play. It's just a little preview. Starting a town from new. What's involved? And in case you guys ever want to pick up this game, you're more than welcome to learn from the tips and tricks that I told you guys about money rocks and making that fat cash. Do you want to throw away some old ones? No, I don't. Although... Okay, here we go. We're going to grab the present. We're going to grab the present. Oh, we got some mad cash here. Check this out. All right, open it up. Hey, a pato torso. Dang. And my shovel's back. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, you gave me my shovel? What? And they said, no, your shovel's not good. Okay, so that's the pato torso. What about this one? Is this my shovel? A pato torso again? Thank you for the donation of your shovel. Regrettably, this piece does not suit any of our current collections, so we must respectfully return it to you. <laughs> oh my god, my shovel's back. I love it. See, like, if anything has sentimental value, it's me and that shovel. Right? Because it does so much work for me. Right? That shovel has made me how much money? At least 40,000 bucks. At least 40,000 bucks. That's so funny. Wow. And look, see, that's my shovel letter. That holds my shovel. It's so perfect. If you had like an analytical personality, that's exactly it. Like this is where my tool is. So next up, I should send them my bug net and then have them send me a, a mailer back with my bug net. So I have a letter spot for my tool. 
so that I know that my shovel's over here, my to, my my bug net's over here, my fishing net would be over here, my axe would be over here, and you just have permanent fixtures in the letters. And then you'd use these six to actually mail. That's kind of cool. All right, so from my marvelous mother, hello. Being popular is no great feat. Anyone can do it. The key is to be a personally personable person. Nobody likes a gloomy Gus or a salty Sally. Thanks, Mom. Get out of here. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I wonder what time Nookington's closes. Nook's cranny. Let's go see what time they close. They're probably closed right now. It's 8 p.m. I don't expect them to be open. Uh, and you're about to go to bed. See ya. And, oh, dang, you are open. Wow, dang, late hours tonight, huh? Burn the midnight oil, huh, Tom Nook? There's an axe. Yo, let me ask you a question. Come here. 400 bells? That's a steal. Yeah, give me that. Coming right for you, Tom Nook. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep, Tom Nook. I know where you live. All right, anyway, here we go. Sell, sell, sell. All right, and that yellow butterfly I need in my life. And Blathers doesn't need fossils. He doesn't He doesn't collect fossils. He just collects pill bugs. So I think we're fine. That's another 10K bells, man. Yo, we got a lot of bells. In like two hours of playing, we had a lot. That's good. Blathers doesn't ask for fossils. No, of course not. Why would he? All right. What is that? Oh, it's just the, the light. Oh, hey, where's Wendell at? I got some apples for you, guy. And an umbrella. Oh, man, a dump umbrella. Dump umbrella and some dump clothes. Dang. All right. Hey, there's KK. Here we go, ladies and gents. KK Slider. Hey, man, don't stand way over there. Why don't you come up to the front row? I'm... I'm... I'm here. Cool, baby. I'm always into catching new hipsters on the scene. My name's Totakiki, but when I'm out here playing my tunes on Saturday nights, I go by KK Slider. I'm all about the music, man. I don't need fame or fortune. Commercialism is for squares. It's not my bag. Want me to jam for you? You guys gotta... It's gotta be DJ KK, man. That's my favorite song. Yeah, let's jam. Cool. If there's something you want to hear, just tell me the name of the tune, and I'll jam. I'm talking about requests. Do you have a request? Ye oh, no! I said yes! No, uh, that's a misclick. Why would it default to no? Hey! Oh, whoa, weird! That's so weird! That was my favorite song.
That was cool. So many like name drops on there, like from the credits of the game from so long ago. That was really fun. DJ KK. Hey, that's kind of cool. So we did get DJ KK. I wish I had a, an old radio to play the song on in my house. But alas, I don't. Alright, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna save. And then we're gonna go mess around um, with uh, Mr. Rossetti. Because I think it's funny. Alright, so let's go save. And then how do I quit? How do I quit easily? Is there like a... Um, there's no like, press the home menu and then close. I have to like, power off my Wii, right? Down, down, da 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 down, down. Down, down, da 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 Okay, here we go. I am back. March 14th. It is ab absolutely March 14th. Yeah, yeah, but I want to I want to change the day. I want it to be uh, morning time So let's just do that. That was cool Like you can go like every Saturday and you just type the name of the song in case you guys don't know all the songs You can look on the back of my shirt uh, KK Ragtime, KK Rally, KK Rock, Rockability, KK Safari, KK Reggae, KK Samba, KK... Anyway, it's in the back of my shirt <laughs> and you get all the songs. Uh, anyway. Yeah, let's do something in the morning. Maybe like a 7-ish. Yeah, yeah, something in the morning. Like, um, like 10. 10 in the morning on, uh, on a Sunday. Yeah, March 15th, sure. Alright, yeah, let's go. Do, 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 do. Why did you forget about me? I just talked to you the other day, but that's fine. You know what? I forgot about you too. And your checkered shirt. Okay, I'm going to attempt to turn off my uh, Wii. Is there not like a button that I press like all the buttons to like reset the game? I gotta use my nose for one of them. No. <laughs> There's no like secret button press to like turn everything off. Do 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 do. Um, yeah, let me, let me mess around with this. I don't really want to unplug it. Maybe I have to. Yeah, let's do that. I guess I'm going to unplug the, the Nintendo Wii and plug it right back in and then, like, go to the Wii menu. Oh, wait, you can't press, like, the Wii menu? Hold on, can you? I can't with the Wii stick. I can't grab the Wii stick and press home, right? No, because I'm in GameCube. Oh, that's probably one of the reasons why. Okay, well, let me just mess around with this. Two seconds, I'll figure it out. Guess I'm unplugging it. Uh-huh. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Hey, there we are. Hey. The Wii! Remember the Nintendo Wii? Whoa, look! A sensor bar, remember this? And you'd go like this, like, you pretend like it was a... Anyway. 
So we pulled the plug without saving in Animal Crossing and uh, I'm gonna find out what happens. What happens when the, when you pull the plug in Animal Crossing? We're gonna feel the wrath. Are we gonna feel the wrath? Hey, what took you so long? Slurp! Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready right now. It is March 15th. That's true. Look at the date today. It's totally not Mario Day. <clears throat> How many times should we reset with Mr. Rossetti? Until we feel the full wrath of everything that he does. How many times? One time, is that good enough? You get scared after one time? When does he, like, really, like, get down? Oh, there he is. Hello, um, allow me to introduce myself. The name's Rossetti. Mr. Rossetti. Have we met before? At the post office, perhaps? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me just say thanks for buying this game, Animal Crossing. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, on behalf of everyone at Nintendo, I, um, I... What was the next part? Huh? Oh, forget it. That's enough. Let's get down to business, what do you say? Because you may not know it, but you and I got issues to discuss. First, let me just tell you what it is I'm doing here. Just so there's no misunderstandings later on. You, my friend, reset your game, didn't you? Huh? Maybe by accident, maybe on purpose, but you pressed it. Or maybe you didn't, huh? Maybe you just went and turned the power off without saving. Sound familiar? What? Sorry, what was that? I didn't catch that last bit. Did you just say I'm right? Uh, <laughs> you did what I, what I said you did. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at those eyes. Alright, you listen and listen good, because I get really angry when I gotta repeat stuff I gotta say. Resetting. It's like pressing an emergency call button. You press it, and I gotta come read you the riot act, see? Also, you gotta save before you turn the power off. If you don't save, it's the same as resetting. Well, okay. That last part, I just added that. Why? Because I wanted to. Forget about other games for a minute, will ya? I'm here to suggest that you try and play this game, Animal Crossing, without hitting reset, got it? I know what you're thinking. Whether I hit reset or not should be up to me. After all, it's my Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> wow. Look at hindsight, playing on a Nintendo Wii. Rossetti doesn't know about Nintendo Wii yet. Well, sorry, rules are rules, okay? Know what I'm saying? Let's not make a big deal out of this. End of discussion. This being our first meeting, I'm gonna let you off easy. Think of this as a friendly warning from me to you. Oh, one more thing. This is my job. I take it seriously. So next time you see me, it's no more Mr. Nice Mole. Oh yeah, and another thing. I guess I got to, I gotta say here. I really watched my language here today. I'm not usually quite so, you know, so polite. If I'm being truthful here, I gotta tell you. I've been told I got what you call an acid tongue. I sorta scare people. Hey, that's who I am. Nothing I can do about it. What, am I supposed to say sorry for being me? Look, it's nothing personal. I ain't trying to be mean or cruel or nothing. I ain't a monster. For those people who get their feelings bruised easily, I gotta apologize in advance. Just deal with it, okay? I love this guy. This is my favorite Animal Crossing villager. You can move in. The deal is, I get paid to be nasty. Crazy world, huh? Well, I figure it's about time for me to get out of here. So, uh, yeah. Here's hoping I don't have to come and see you no more. Now. Scram! Wow. That happened, didn't it? Yikes. This guy, though. Are you kidding me? What do you say? Should we save the game? Or should we pull the plug again? Hmm. What do you guys... What, what should we do? Just out of curiosity. If this is the last time we're going to be playing this game... What should we do? Oh, here I think the save button. Uh, I think the save button is is right over here. Let me um, let me grab that really quick. I think the save button is by uh, like grabbing this plug over here. 
Oh yeah. Oh okay. Okay. And then you pressing the power button. Is that how you? Is that how you save the game? Right. And then you press the the Wii remote, and you turn on the Wii remote, and then you hit this button. This is how you save the game, right? That that that's how you save, right? And then you go like this, and then you go like this. When you can rotate the finger like this, when you can point at the GameCube, boop, 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 and you can point at your head. Ow. <laughs> That's how you save the game. I, I wasn't instructed how to save the game on GameCube. It's It's been too long. It's been 19 years. I don't know how to do that. All right, here we go, Animal Crossing. Load up this town. Tell me everything about Mr. Rossetti. <clears throat> Lobo, I didn't even recognize you. I, I, Lobo, I forgot that you existed too, so the feeling's mutual, guy. All right, here we go. Get ready for some Mr. Rossetti nonsense. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. You again, huh? I should have known. I had a feeling about you. After all, I wanted to do what you're told. What you're told not to do is human nature. Listen, you get this whole reset things started and you'll never stop. I've seen it a million times. You think this is a game? Well, okay, it is a game. But games got rules and rules got consequences. Something funny to you? What am I doing over here? Stand up? You see an applause sign up in here? Look, don't make me come back here again, I'm serious. It ain't like I enjoy these little field trips. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be wearing my angry hat and let me tell you, it's one ugly hat. Trust me on this one, when I get my motor going, you'll be here a while. Don't reset again. Now. Scram! I promise, Mr. Rossetti, I'm totally not going to turn off my Nintendo Wii and or press the reset button that's directly under the power button. Right now, I'm totally not doing that. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Rossetti. Um, totally not reaching over here and grabbing all of this and turning on the, the power again, and then pressing the A button, and then grabbing um, my Nintendo Wiimote over here. I'm totally not doing that. I saved the game, because that's how the game works. All right, did I do that this time? Did I do it right? Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, dang. Come on, Wiimote. Really? Okay, Rossetti, you broke my Wii. No, just kidding. I think it's working. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Mr. Rossetti, you broke my Wii, guy. All right. What, uh, what does Mr. Rossetti say now? Mr. Rossetti, I'm coming for you, guy. Progressive scan. Where's the CRT TVs, man? The days of the CRTs. Here we go. Pecan. Hi. I actually like pecan. Pecan pie. Mr. Rossetti? Nice to know you. So what's he gonna do? How many different times does he have? You! So where are you going, huh? Let me ask you something. What do you just do? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What do I mean? What do I mean? You trying to be funny? Resetting. I'm talking about you resetting the game. Listen to me, Abdallah. You think you can fool me? 
You're just fooling yourself. It ain't gonna happen. See, it's like this, all right? Whenever you reset, there's this light in the reset center that starts flashing. It's so bright, it hurts my brain. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that you people make mistakes. It's genetic or something. Who knows? Maybe your finger slipped. I don't know, and I don't care. What I do want is for you to do me a favor. Yeah, do me a favor and answer this one question. Pray tell, is there a reset button in your world? There isn't, is there? Huh? <laughs> of course not. That would be stupid. <laughs> not being able to do things over again, that's called life. And you best get used to it. What? What was that? It's just a game? Don't make such a big deal out of it? That's what I'm talking about. Your attitude, it stinks. <laughs> it's just a game. Wah. What is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's pathetic. You ought to be ashamed. Huh. What's that? Speak up, you reset happy cheater. You telling me you never said that at all? Huh. All right. Maybe I had some dirt in my ears. Forget about it. Let's move on. Let me just give you some examples of what I'm talking about, okay? And make sure you pay attention. Yo, this guy's me! Mr. said he's me! Yo, pay attention! Hey, resetting over and over just to find an item or to erase an unfortunate incident? Sound familiar? Abdallah, this is just the kind of juvenile and disgusting style of gameplay that we want you to avoid. Where's the satisfaction in cheating through life? Take everything as it comes, in its own time, enjoy it all. That's noble, that's graceful. And it's a whole lot easier to do in this game than it is in real life, let me tell you. <sighs> I bet you're asking yourself, how much longer is this guy gonna go on? You are, aren't you, huh? Ah, whatever. Attention span of a flea, that's what you got. All this jawn tired me out anyways. I'm gonna let you go, for now anyway. But, you gotta promise me, no more. I'm serious here, resetting is completely off limits. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Take a bath. You got it? Now. Scram! <laughs> Did he just tell me to take a bath? Are you kidding me? Yo, I love Mr. Rossetti. He's absolutely my favorite character in Animal Crossing, hands down. The way he talks is exactly like I feel. Like, Mr. Rossetti is my spirit animal in Animal Crossing. He is so awesome. All right, so I'm going to go uh, lean over here and um, I'm going to go save the game really quick and uh, we're going to call it a live stream. Let me, let me just bend down over here and, uh, and save the game. Because that's a thing, right? You can, you can save the game by, by doing these things over here. Right? And then you, you, you turn on the game and you, and you save. Is that, is that how things work? I'm totally saving the game, by the way. Just I got I to gotta cut to black and just make sure it looks good. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Anyway. This is actually really hilarious to me, so I love it. I love it. I never did this growing up. 19 years ago, I never once did this. I, I maybe reset the game once and I saw Mr. Rossetti and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize that I offended you in any way. And I was like, okay, okay, I won't do it again, I promise. And then I never actually, like, egged him on. But, like, this is a town that we just made in, like, the last two hours. So, of course we're gonna mess around with this fool. Why wouldn't we? Give me this guy! I love Mr. Rossetti. He's the best! Imagine! Imagine if they didn't speak animalese and they did some voice acting. I would totally voice Mr. Rossetti. You can hear it! It's so funny because you can hear my voice as what Mr. Rossetti sang. Just close your eyes and listen. I do a very good Mr. Rossetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do the best Mr. Rossetti because like, I feel the way he feels. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, don't we all? It's like a cynical, it's like a cynical feeling and it's like sarcastic sometimes. Hey you, hold up a minute. Who? You. You, you, you! Don't pretend you don't know who I'm talking to, Abdallah. You ain't fooling nobody. Get your tail over here. Uh, no? No? I don't think so, man. I'm, I'm afraid of this dude. Where's my axe? I... Unbelievable! What are you doing? 
Don't make me chase you. <laughs> I can't even access the menu to get my axe out. <sighs> What's he gonna do? I can't press the menu, I'm afraid. Mommy. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're a real piece of work, you know that? You think I was blathers or the mayor or something. When I call you, I expect you to move. And I mean move. Um, what was that? That look you just gave me. What, may I ask, was that? <laughs> Are you testing me? You don't want to do that. I'm warning you. You'll rue the day you moved here. And don't give me that crybaby what did I do look either. It ain't gonna fly. Not with this mole. Reset, reset, reset. You just had to do it again, didn't you? After all the kindness I've been showing you, you go and stab me in the back. What would your mother say? Hey! You were gonna go and do it again, weren't you? Just now, your finger was creeping over to reset. Stop. Just give it a rest, will ya? That's not gonna help you out of this jam. I'll just keep coming back. And stop wiggling around like you gotta go potty. You're driving me nuts. Just stand there and listen. I'm wasting my breath here, ain't I? I mean, look at you, you. You just don't listen. Is there something about this you maybe don't understand? Or is it just that you don't care at all? Is that it? Listen, Abdallah. I could stop and leave it to you how to play, but where would that get us? Nowhere. How about playing a fantasy without any epic battles? No fighting against the odds to save, to save some magical realm. Wouldn't it be nice to just lay down your sword, pick a few pretty daisies and just be nice see my point that ain't life and this ain't a fantasy i'm just asking that you enjoy life here and all of its hey look at me when i'm talking to you <laughs> uh, if you hadn't reset in the first place you wouldn't be here getting your tail chewed off okay you ain't got a tail but it's still your own fault Whew. you know Coming out here is no picnic for me either. It really wears a mole out. You think I'm joking. Look at that tunnel, will ya? I have to dig one of those each and every time you reset. I'm only one mole. So how about you and I stop wasting each other's time? What do you say? No more resetting, all right? We got an understanding? What? Ah, you mocking me? <laughs> if that's how you wanna be. Then you just earn yourself the chance to hear me again from the beginning. Yeah, you ain't laughing now. You don't like that idea at all much, do you, twerp? Well, I don't like it either. So how about you and I stop wasting each other's time? What do you say? No more resetting, alright? We got an understanding? Fine. Well, alright then. As long as we're square, I'm satisfied. But... This is the last time. So help me, if I gotta do this one more time, there's gonna be bad trouble. Oh, and before I forget, there's one last thing. Your hair. Wash it! We clear? Now. Scram! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so funny, man. I wonder, like, okay, so all the localization team, how many resets did they write script for? I can honestly be here for five hours, a five hour live stream of messing around trolling Resetti. I don't know. Is there, is that information on the internet somewhere where you can say like, how many times does it like stop until he starts repeating stuff? I don't know, man. I'll do it a couple more times. What do you guys think? What, you guys want to do it again? Man, you guys are something, huh? Now scram! Dude, I think we should just make a full-on live stream just messing around with Rossetti. You know what? I think we'll do that tomorrow. I think we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, guys. Let's do it tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat some dinner. And we will troll Rossetti tomorrow, I promise. I promise. Does that sound like fun? Does that sound like fun to you? Just an entire live stream of trolling Rossetti. I think that would be actually be really fun. Because I like voice acting Rossetti. It's honestly really cool. <laughs> and then we gotta make a live stream of trolling Rossetti in every generation. Oh my gosh. Woo! 
Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Resetty, man. All right, well, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, playing Animal Crossing on GameCube today with me. We had some fun times. I showed you guys some pretty cool tips and tricks on how to make money very quick with the help of the uh, selling everything and not growing emotionally attached to anything in your inventory. And then, of course, getting the, uh, the money rocks. So that's it. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I hope you guys will join me for Animal Crossing New Horizons when the game comes out. We'll be doing so much viewer interactivity, it's not even funny. So I need to make sure that all of you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications so you guys know when we go live for the Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's going to be on the 19th, so be there. So yeah, I'm really excited, man. This game is actually really good. So it's fun to see what the game's like, but like I showed you guys exactly what the game is, right? You go over here, you get the shells, you plant the trees, you sell the stuff, you pay off your loan, and then you continuously farm that money rock until you're a billionaire. And then more things will happen, right? That's kind of the gist of the game. It's a cool one, man. I like this game a lot. Um, believe it or not, when I bought the used copy, when I bought the used copy, it came with someone's town on the memory card. And I don't know whose town this is. So I'd be curious to jump into someone else's town, right? Would that be some content? <laughs> Just chop down all their trees and run through all their uh, flowers, dig all their holes, sell all their furniture. I would be a menace to that town. Abdallah terrorizes Stranger's Town live. I don't know. I mean, we could if you guys want to. It's, it's really up to you. I'm a little fuzzy here. Hey, see ya. All right, that would actually be hilarious. I don't. I have no. I've never touched this memory card when I bought this game used, so I have no clue whose town is this. But someone will go in the internet and say, "Hey, that was my town. I turned that into the. Where did I buy this thing? The Exchange on 935 West Belmont Avenue in Chicago. Like I sold it over there and I got five bucks for it, and now it's in your grasp." What a wonderful wild world. Anyway, wild world's probably gonna be the next one, right? That's chronologically the next one in order, right? Wild world and then the, the Wii version. Is that how that worked? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Um, tomorrow, Resetti stream. It's gonna be a little bit later in the evening because I've got the job fair that I'm gonna be doing. So when I get home from the job fair, I will absolutely hit up a live stream and we're just gonna troll Resetti. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> be there. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.